So this is going to show you how to mobilize and stretch your thoracic spine. Your thoracic spine is your upper back. It sort of starts from about there and to about there. Basically where your rib cage is. In between my fingers there, that's pretty much your thoracic spine, your upper spine. If that's not mobile, if that's, uh, if that's a seized up a bit, we tend to be in a bit of a, a forward slouch posture like that. We want to be a bit more extended, a bit tall upright, get the shoulders back up there. We're going to be using a foam roller. Lay down on the floor. I'm going to lay perpendicular this way against. <laughs> what, just in case we didn't know? Yeah, that's parallel. We don't want to do that at the moment. Okay. Perpendicular. Okay. We're going to start with a roller sort of just at the base, at the bottom part of my thoracic spine. The bottom part of my upper spine, if you will. I'm going to lay back there. Just going to relax. Rest my heads in my hands, both heads in my hands, and <laughs> just the one head. <laughs> and the most important bit is to switch your belly on. Think of doing a plank. We don't want the belly to be relaxed and just ribs flaring out there. Can you see my ribcage there? We mm. don't want to see that. I want to switch my belly on, think like a plank, tighten my belly, and it should be nice and flush. So, laying back, hold on to the head. Switch the belly on, and then I'm going to push my head back and fold my upper spine back over the roller, trying to keep my belly tight all the time. I'm going to roll up, fold myself back as far as I can go, relax, and repeat. Switch my belly on, fold my spine back, my head goes back, my short blades go back. I fold my upper spine back over the roller, and I relax. Do that a few times and then move the roller back a tiny bit. It's on a slightly higher part of my spine. Set myself up exactly the same as before. Hands behind the head, switch the belly on, don't let the rib cage flare out. Tight plank position and then fold that slightly different part of my spine back over the roller. So you don't, you don't actually move that much. No, it's and it should be hard work through your tummy. Yes. If you're, if you're not thinking like you're doing a plank, it's gone wrong. That, the, the belly is probably the biggest common mistake. Okay. Common mistake is not switching the belly on, not working it, not thinking like you're doing a plank, and then just doing that. Okay. You can see my ribcage pop up, and now all I'm doing is bending from down the bottom part of my spine. Yeah. And we don't want to bother with that. We want to do the top half. So... Think like a plank, tight belly, rib cage down, and then the upper spine folds back. Again, hold that for a second or two, and do a few repetitions of that. And you work your way slowly, inch by inch, up your spine, and so you're, all your upper spine is being folded over the roller. And that is your thoracic extension mobility exercise.